medium man, physical medium man, physical medium man. What'd you buy? Was it something good? What's up, guys? Physical medium man back here again for another physical medium man Monday video. I have another vlog video for you guys from our trip to Florida. Um, at the beginning of September, uh, mostly in St. Augustine, Florida. Um, a couple clips will be from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, and then we finished up in Tallahassee for the Notre Dame Florida State game. Um, I was going to wear this shirt um, from Homefield Apparel, uh, the house that Bobby built, um, Bobby Bowden, but um, didn't get it until today actually as I filmed this um, which was fine because I'm a Notre Dame fan so I I wore my Notre Dame gear so it worked out and we came came home with the victory so that definitely made our trip great um, but we had a lot of fun regardless of that um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this different video I've done a couple of these now and I've had a lot of fun putting them together they're just time consuming so like I said hope you enjoyed this if you haven't yet done so please make sure to subscribe um, that's at the end. <laughs> if you haven't yet done so, please make sure to check all that good stuff down below. I'll leave the links to my Instagram page, my Physical Media Man store Instagram page, my Facebook page for the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store, my Facebook page for non-media related items, the HodgePodge Garage, my email, my eBay, my Twitter, and my Letterboxd account. Um, so here come some clips. Enjoy. After landing in Jacksonville, our first stop was the Timaquan Ecological and Historic Preserve. It included a replica, not the original, of Fort Caroline, what they thought it would look like. The history here is very interesting, and without this, there probably wouldn't be a St. Augustine, which was where we were heading next. Um, if you're in the Jacksonville area, it wasn't too far from the airport, I would recommend checking it out. Once we got to St. Augustine, we were really hungry. First we went to our Airbnb, and then we went to the nearest place that was okay to eat, Red Frog and McToads. Um, it was okay bar food. Uh, it would be a good environment, um, but the burger was just okay. That evening we walked St. George Street, a pedestrian-only street lined with restaurants and shops and other attractions. Um, we went to this great pizza place, Pizza Time. Highly recommend it. Pizza by the Slice it is really, really good. Um, we definitely thought about going back again. It was that good. But Then we headed to A1A Ale Works for a beer to end the evening and head back to the Airbnb, get ready for the next day. Before starting our adventure for the next day, we headed to the beach where we spotted this turtle. Then we were off for our first stop of the day. Ponce de Leon's Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park. This is a place I definitely recommend checking out. There's a ton to do there. Um, we have some clips coming up that I think you'll really enjoy. And we really wish we had more time there, um, but it was neat to see everything that we saw.
just me, man. We'll never die. <laughs> After regaining our youth, we headed out and saw a few more things at the park before a demonstration that was really neat. Here are some clips. And explorers brought things from Europe. Obsolete old things. Still usable. They could get them for little or no money. That was always a big consideration with these guys. So, Menendez brought cannons from the 13 and 14. After finishing up at the Fountain of Youth, we headed to Mojo Barbecue for lunch. This place I had on our list of places I really wanted to go uh, based on reviews and, and the menu. It looked really good and it definitely didn't, didn't disappoint. I definitely recommend the mac and cheese. Um, it was a great side to go with my barbecue sandwich. Next up, we headed to another place to mark off of our National Parks book, the Castillo de San Marcos National Monument. It is the oldest surviving masonry fortress in the United States. It protected Florida at the time from pirates, which we will get to coming up shortly. It also protected against other countries. There's a lot of history here and lots to see and read. There's also park rangers that can help if you have any questions, and I definitely recommend going if you're able to. It also, uh, we were a few days away from the Notre Dame Florida State game, but I knew that Osceola was the Florida State University symbol. He was a seminal leader. I didn't know much about him other than that, but they had this on the wall, and he was actually imprisoned here. Back to those pirates. Next up was the St. Augustine Pirate and Treasure Museum. Arr, matey. This one was one of the weaker things that we did, but it's still pretty neat. And to top it all off, there is a big movie area at the end. After all that pirate talk, time for some rum drinks. We finished up our evening with a fancy dinner at Michael St. Augustine. I really enjoyed my delicious steak, and Jordan enjoyed her seafood. Definitely recommend this place if you're able to go. It was fantastic. We started the next morning off with a Whetstone chocolate tour. I really enjoyed chocolate, so I definitely enjoyed this one. 
I'd never been on anything like this before and it was really interesting and the chocolate was delicious. So I definitely recommend it if you're able to, to do this. This is one of the, the best things I think we did. Next up was lunch at Mango Mangoes. Their burger was just okay. I recommend getting something else on the menu. Jordan really enjoyed what she got. We took this trail thinking we were going to see the historic Fort Matanzas National Monument and knock another item off of our National Parks book. But instead we saw a golden filk spider and a black racer snake. Very scary. But we eventually saw the fort. Time for some relaxation at the beach before dinner. Next we had dinner at Pizza Alley's on St. George. It was pretty enjoyable too. Um, I like pizza time better, but Definitely would go back here too. Next up was the Conk House for their famous Goombay Smash. Another rum inspired drink that was definitely worth stopping for. Our last meal in St. Augustine before heading towards Tallahassee was Sea Oats Cafe for breakfast. It wasn't as good as the last time we had it, but still okay. The moment you've all been waiting for. It's finally game day and we're in Tallahassee to root on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish against the Florida State Seminoles. Georgia 18 to nothing. Team captains Gene McDowell and Red Dawson remembered the challenge and reached down and picked up a piece of sod. They presented.
Mr. Jordan Gray. For the distance drum major, Jimmy Villagawa and Sarah Feingold. Majorette captains Kennedy Gill and Ashley Norman. Color guard captains Anna Ellis and Alexia Morris. And our future twirlers, Cameron Reynolds and Ariel Colbeus.
Burt Reynolds was a Florida State football player until injuries derailed his career, leading him to acting. Physical media man, physical media man.